forever embraced in the infinite miracle of quietude and silence. Are we ever truly alone or does our mind constantly keep us company? We take shelter in our thoughts to avoid the silence. But thoughts are just man-made. Thoughts are just mind-made. Silence is real. Silence is beyond the mind. I think as humans, we have an addiction to stimulation and sound. But when you don't give yourself a chance to experience silence, and you can't truly appreciate sound, we're constantly making noise to remind ourselves that we exist because in the silence, everything gets swallowed whole. You can sit with the silence things might make a little more sense to you. We can't find peace in, in constant stimulation. Peace is within you, peace is beneath the constant activity. Because we keep running and we keep, we stay busy to avoid looking at the stuff that's right, been right in front of our eyes the whole time. Silence contains everything. There would be no sound without silence. Silence can hold the key. Sometimes you can find answers if you just slow down and I guess they will find you if you can slow down. You're an irreplaceable part of all that is. If we can allow ourselves to experience silence, then something new can come to us. And when you're silent, you can really look at yourself and, and see yourself and see all the ways in which your mind works. All the ways in which your mind gets in the way of you fully experiencing and being here. We were all given a mind and if we don't take responsibility for that mind that we have, then we're not being fully, fully human the mind can be the biggest help to us and it can be the biggest threat to our existence as you can see today but when we experience silence we can hear the language of the voice that does not use words because we're always thinking in words and words are just made up words are just made from the mind but silence has always been here. Silence is what contains everything. Silence is the language of the universe. And I think that so many of our answers could find us if we weren't so busy avoiding silence all the time. Because silence, you know, that's when things come up. That's when you can see things. And as long as we keep running from those feelings and, and those things that are trying to tell us something, once we stop running, then we can stop and look. Look around us. 
we do not go into nature. We are nature. Nature is not a place where you go. It's not separate from your everyday life. Nature's everywhere. So we can start to see ourselves in a more holistic view that we are a product of this earth. We are made out of the same stuff. And to care about the planet is to care about yourself. Whatever we do to the planet, we do to ourselves. To care about the planet is to be fully human, as well as to take care of your own body, which is nature as well. <laughs>